Hello, welcome to the Ant-Man channel. A quick, quick report. Um, something terribly horrible happened over the weekend. Under everyone's noses, by the way. Not reported in any mainstream media outlet, I'm sure, because I would have heard about it. It would have been an outcry, but it's kind of a suppression of making the, the bad guys look like they're not bad guys going on. Uh, deadly, deadliest massacre in history. Muslims slaughter thousands in Nigeria over weekend. Posted on January the 12th, 2015. So, I'm not the fastest on some of these articles. I know sometimes I wish I was. Uh, sometimes I am. It's just the opportunity. Sometimes I'm just sometimes not able to get on the, the, the latest breaking news. But I try. I try. And uh, this, is, this is one definitely that needs attention. Mostly women, kids, and the elderly. Here's Obama's beautiful religion at work. Hundreds of bodies, too many to count. Remain strewn in the bush in Nigeria from an Islamic extremist attack that Amnesty International suggested Friday is the deadliest massacre in the history of Boko Haram. Mike Omeri, the government spokesman on the insurgency, said fighting continued Friday for Baga, a town on the border with Chad where insurgents seized a key military base on January 3rd and attacked again on Wednesday. Security forces have responded rapidly and have, dis and have deployed significant military assets and conducted airstrikes against militant targets, O'Mary said in a statement. District Head uh, Baba Abba Hassan said most victims are children, women, and elderly people. Because <laughs> those are the, everyone knows they're the toughest to fight. Uh, who could not run fast enough when insurgents drove into Baga firing rocket propelled grenades and assault rifles on town residents. Just like, you know, when you see somebody that, like a, a lone gunman, go into like a, a a place where there's unsuspecting people and fire at them is a sign of hardcore cowardice, my friend. If, if you know what I mean, if people like that, you know, I don't know, if they're so tough, why don't they go shoot at, you know, tougher, you know what I mean? It's just, why, why? And and yeah, the the uh, the Muslims are like that too. They they have no respect for the elderly, the women, and the kids. I guess they're they're easy targets. So there's no shame in that. I guess there's no shame in in murdering unsuspecting civilians. Um, this is what their religion is about, man. It's about conquest, and uh, the the government man is really trying to suppress the fact. We have like a kind of like a disease in this country about multiculturalism and how we're trying to bring this idea of bringing the entire world here and trying to make it so that we can sustain like a civilized society and within all those different world views and no no you can't you can't do that you it's just not allowed to happen and just it just no World world views are conflicting here now, and the entire structure of our civilized world will change if we leave it in the hands of people who want to change the rules and you know what I mean put their rules above our rules and undermine us and it's kind of weird that that people don't they they're so superficial in all of their thinking it seems that they don't think that the world view has anything to do with why people do these things like go and uh, uh you know whatever terrorists do you we have that we have a great example right here and we can't be afraid to talk about this we we have enemies within and they're and we can't let them hide behind civilized you know like looking like they're okay on the outside but we know what their ploys are and their plots are and what their agendas are their, their agendas are evil, man, and we, we have to defend ourselves here against their ideology and against their, their uh, what they would have, you know, like they're taking us over from within culturally. And, you know, if we imagine stoning people, imagine if that came back, like if we just saw stoning people as a normal thing, that's what they're bringing. Your secular humanistic worldview atheists is under attack right now. It's yours, it's your ideology and worldview right now is being, is, is the one that's being under, uh, uh, being challenged right now. 
are you when in a world where everything's okay what's true for you is true for you is okay in a world where you're living like that you don't think that that's you know what i mean that you're not putting your guard down against another philosophy and ideology that has to do with forcing it doesn't have anything to do with tolerance just like yours yours is trying to push people out of your you know you you guys claim to be the you know the academic the the mainstream scientists and all that and um they're just as intolerant as you are because but instead of pushing you out socially they push you out in life they kill you <laughs> to convert or die it's 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 choose to believe what i believe and bow down to the beast or you die and that's what they're trying to bring over here so let's not play word games let's not call these people extremists because they're just following what their religion teaches them and you guys are too atheists you're t you're following your religion too and so am i and mine is to speak truth whether i get killed for it or not and that's kind of scary and all and i hate to bring it up as if i'm like proud of saying that but it's just a fact of the matter I say it in love and I say it like as a way to wake you up. Like, look, I don't have any, you don't have anything that I want. I'm not doing this for any underlying agenda. I'm doing this plainly for the sake that you may get saved and then put your trust in Christ knowing that he is the truth. And that when what he presents in the Bible is actually the fact of what's actually going on in the world. And then you will come into the light and your eyes will be open and your ears will become able to hear and your heart will be softened to understand the spiritual things. It's not just about being tough out there, you guys. I know the culture does try to impose that mental falsehood on us, but it's not about being tough and trying to get ahead in life no matter what it takes. Who cares about all of that? That's not what we're called to do, Christian. So let's let's keep our eye on the ball, you know. So um, the human carnage perpe uh, perpetrated by Boko Haram terrorists in Baga was enormous. Mohammed Abba gave Argava. I guess that's his name, a spokesman for poorly armed civilians in a defense group that fights Boko Haram told the Associated Press. Just absolutely heartbreaking, man. Think about what, how easy we have it here and how people that are just trying to live their lives in the middle of Nigeria, just being Christians, get murdered like this for no reason. It's just heartbreaking. But they're in a better place now. And that should encourage you. That should encourage you, man. That should make you mad that the government does not tell us about this stuff. They don't even try to go and defend these people. It's sad, man. And instead, and instead, we're sympathizing with the enemy and being a bunch of wimps in this country and being a bunch of, oh, well, stop being so hard. No, no, no. Look, we need to, we need to know what's, what's fact. We need to not be driven emotionally, but driven by facts and knowledge. And, um... You know, we if you know what I mean, it's we cannot be sympathizing with the devil. We need to be people who love justice and what's right and shun evil, man. It's okay to be hateful, but hate toward evil. Don't hate people, hate sin. Sin is the reason why all of the murder that goes on all around the world happens. So hate the right thing, man. Be angry toward the right thing. Don't you know what I mean? Don't a lot of people think of anger as a wasted emotion as something that is uh, unbecoming of you but anger is a is a natural thing and it's un it's not right i think that that people want to act like they have nothing to be angry about just so that they could go along with in their happy lives and pursuing happiness and whatnot and then right now that's all good and all and us christians should we should be the most happy of all people we have every right to be the happiest people on earth and we are but let's get real here we're, we're happy, but let's always be real with the facts, man. And that is that um, we stand for peace, but when we talk, it may seem like we are not, you know, for peace. But these people that claim to be for peace, they're not. And, and you could tell in their, in, in their actions that the, the fruit is bad. It's evil. This is something straight from hell, straight from the devil, man. So you guys got to be aware of that. So be be alert. Don't let don't try to normalize and live in a normalcy biased and 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 stop watching CNN because you, you know what I mean? Like knock it off already, dude. You, it's 2015. Get real already. It's time to move forward. I hope that I'm encouraging you and not bashing you, but I mean, I hope that you know that you stay alert and up to date on these issues. Pursue truth and defend liberty, my friend. God bless you.